Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome on back to Spaceborn 2. In this episode, I saw that there were concerns about why I started over from the beginning. And in this episode, I'm going to give you an example why I did. It will be the second mission that we run. We got to finish off the mission that we were on in the last episode. But if you stick around and watch both, sandwiched somewhere in between, I give you guys a gold farming secret to pull down your first couple of million of credits so you can buy a new ship if you want. Alrighty, folks. So we're going to start right where we left off yesterday. And we need to go to that planet all right there we go i had to jump into the old ship should be relatively easy to get there all righty nice quick hop here shouldn't be too bad and i saw some concerns down in the comments of the first video about why i started the game over and you guys will see, hopefully we get to it in this video, but the dev has put in new content throughout all of the old content. Changed the way you have to go about doing things, that, and he changed all of the militaristic fleet side from what it was before, which was where we kind of did things in a certain way and laid back to it's out and out an RTS simulator now, I guess. I don't know, we'll see when we get there, but as we're going, I have a test save that I'm playing with this. So I'm seeing all this new content, and I'm like, yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this. So we hit the B button, and we're gonna pop down here. Planet landings are still a little rough. Something wrong. Check Coram's lap. Alrighty. Like I said, still a little rough. Whoa. I hate trying to land on planets because you gotta kind of change the way you do things. Alright. Yep, we can fly here. I knew it. These are Coram's men, and I'm sure they know you're here. What's left of them? Don't stand a chance against the mercenaries of Corns with that equipment of yours. You need better equipment. I know where Coron hides his stash. Let me show you. Now you want to be quick here because we're going to get as soon as we hit this, it's going to drop people. So jump into our character real quick. That suit is better than the one we had. Assault rifle. Yeah, assault rifle is better too. Alright, then we hit the ground, and now stuff's gonna start coming at us. Should drop ships yep, here we go. Your area. Yep, Stay right. inside for cover. Just keep dropping right in the same spot. Yep. Oh, good. Jeez, how many are they going to drop? Which side is it going to come to? Left or right? Right side. Coron is not here. I'm sure they took him down to the research center in the cave. I know I'm asking too much, but would you go to the cave by elevator and check it out? 
Yeah, we just got to run down real quick. Can't use your jetpack in here. At all, it's completely dead. So you gotta run. Yes. Dead. How? Damn it. I told him not to mess with Quinn. Wait a second. Do you see any AT documentation around? It should be in a small mechanical box. Nope, don't see anything. Damn. It must not fall into Quinn's hands. Fortunately, we had a tracking device attached to the AT document. Just wait a sec. I know I'm asking a lot from you, but Kuron stole the AT document and is about to leave the atmosphere. You must catch him immediately. That's According what we're to doing. My screen, there's a cargo ship directly overhead. The AT document must be in a container on that ship. Please don't let them escape. Okay. Back to the old ship. Landing gear retracted. And if I remember right, we should have a couple of friends join us. Fighters defending the ship. You can't get on the ship unless you destroy them first. Oh, you're kidding me already. You have a missile. Helps when I actually. Oh, it won't even. Let Man, these guys keep flying out. I've been noticing in some definite patterns now. I mean, look how far out these guys are. This is ridiculous. And who could have hit me from... Does he come back in now? Yes, okay. That's why. But yeah, and they're still... When they get around you, to do the real tight circling. Target shields are down. Until we get some overwhelming force on our side. Where's the last one? Okay, it's way over there. Here, let me burn all my juice getting to it, because then I gotta come all the way back to go over this other thing. Yeah. It's gotta be a bug. It happens. That's what editing's for. Good, yeah, start heading back towards the other way. Don't go any other way. Weapons overheat. And we're out of missiles. Okay. Weapons overheat. Oh, come on. Now he's out of range again. But he can hit me, I can't hit him. Because, you know, bear. What is hitting me? There's nothing close to me, and he shouldn't be able to hit me at that distance. I mean, we can't hit him. I don't know. Maybe he's, well, now he's going the other way.
It's okay. Patience is a virtue. Sometimes. Weapons overheat. until we actually kill the stupid SOB. Weapons overheat. Oh, come Shield on. Charging. Target destroyed. Damn. Fine. Cargo ship is accelerating. If it leaves the atmosphere, we lose it. Damage its engine now. That is the wrong end. What? They can't go anywhere. Now get off your ship and get on top of the cargo ship to check the containers one by one. I'm sure it's in one of them. On planets Let's with see. gravity below 14.2 ms squared, you can use the space suit as a jetpack. For this, eject from your ship. When you have a surface to land on, you can shut down your jetpack with the G key. Okay. So we eject. And the thing to keep in mind in this part is one. That takes the key. They have got drones. What we got drones. I thought I got it. Oh, I thought I got both. Okay. So, you don't want to hit the document side. You want to hit this other side instead. And get all of them before you start touching the documents. There's a bunch of loot. they go under the ship probably. Yep. Oh, really dude? Come on. I dropped better than that. So it's a little wonky, as you can tell. But, again, we don't have to rush, and it's not like they're actually doing that kind of damage. Oh, that much damage to us. There one or two? Usually two. Oh, nope, we already got that. No, it is not in here. Oops, well, we did that one. So, I was actually going to the wrong direction. Gotta do the actual document thing. Huh. Not here. Damn it. Please keep looking. Somewhere in the center. Uh. 
Here it is. Please bring it to me at any cost. We can't let Quirin get those. Wait a second. We can't leave any evidence behind. According to my scream, the middle container carries gas canisters. With their help, we can destroy the ship. Yep. Now go and shoot the gas canisters until they catch fire. Be careful. If you shoot more than necessary, it will explode while you're on it. There we go. So you just gotta plink. Okay, that's enough. Get out of there and get on your ship now. I'm going. Looks like another drone showed up. Shield recharging. That's it. Ooh. I can't thank you enough. Please bring me the AT documents. Ooh, and before we promised, go anywhere. Your robot is about to be repaired. A beam weapon, new suit, missile, shotgun. Okay. All right, folks, when we come back, we'll be at that station. Give me a sec. All right, here we go. I can't believe what you just did there. You were great. As promised, I repaired your robot. However, only the B-Drive was operational. This means that only the head of the robot was working. But after all you've done for me, I didn't want to settle for that. I found a very clean robot from the junkyard and uploaded your robot's B-Drive to a newer model droid. As a matter of fact, you will have a new generation multifunctional droid with the brain of your old robot. These SR-11 models are very athletic, able to fight and even... You know what I mean? Sure. Ah, I almost forgot. I collected the ship weapons and to upgrade components for you. I'm sure they're better than the ones loaded on your ship. Probably. Thanks again. If you need anything. You know where to find me. All right. Now she should hopefully give us a mission. This exoskeleton. It is different. It's you. I was an old colleague of your father's. I had promised him I would watch over you and thought I had failed him. But here you stand before me. It's understandable you don't remember me. After all, you were just a baby when we parted ways. My designation was three with commander of the WRA. I was the right hand of the great general, your father. For that, I need to start from the beginning. And they put a cinematic in. Which brings us to today. Now the responsibility falls onto you to continue what your father started. That is to unite and liberate the entire human race. Your father was no terrorist. He was a great resistance leader. The true terrorists are the current leaders of this galaxy. Are people complaining? Do you call living in secrecy freedom? I know how the Council of these leaders works. If they were ever to discover your cities, they would slaughter all the Earthlings. So tell me, is this really how you want to live? In fear? I know, we're doing okay. At this time, I see that it is pointless to try to convince you. You said you're a freelance pilot, correct? Then I have a job for you, your father's former second in command, Anchor. He is in prison. I want you to break him out. In return, I will give your father's armor. It is priceless. Of course. I am a man of many... Correction. A woman of many plans now, I suppose. You'll need to travel to the planet Zeda. Specifically the prison district. <coughs> Take out any of the hostels and free anchor. Great. Let's discuss the details then. Nirax, 
a world organization leader, has devised a prison rape plan. We will need to join this raid and extract Anchor before the prison is destroyed. What is the date today? We are still 50 moons away, but I can move up the schedule. No issues there. Every worldly organization is loyal and will follow your father's and Admiral's orders. We have plenty of time should you need it. I would recommend you use this free time wisely. There are various guilds throughout the galaxy that you can join. By becoming a member, you can gain experience and reap the unique benefits offered by each guild. All right, so you've got two options here. You can say, no, I prefer to skip, uh, skip time, right? And you can go right to the raid, which is fine. But that's not what I recommend you do. I recommend now is if you want to get a ship that you've been seeing at stations, it's probably now when you want to get it. If not now, very soon. But we're going to go get the money for it. Wise choice. So you go into your guild. Hit guilds here. And the one that we want to hit is the miners guild. So 174. All right, so that's where we're going to go. She's going to talk a little more. There is a guild section in the main interface. Yeah, here we go. There you can find the location of the closest branch of each guild. I would suggest joining the freelancers guild first. The types of missions they offer will enhance your piloting skills, and this will in turn allow you to equip higher tier upgrades. The choice is of course yours to make. Yeah, here's the thing. I used to think that's what you should do. You shouldn't. Because as your as you uh, your pilot level goes up, the cost of ships goes up. If so. you don't mind, I would like to join your crew. As a co-pilot, I bring many years of experience that will be of benefit to you. Sure. Wise choice. As a co-pilot, my first advice would be to upgrade your weapons. Smen's weapons are in should be better than what you're currently using. It would be wise to equip them before we encounter any further hostiles. Let's be on our way then. Okay, and real quick with her, you go into ship, into crew, and as we get various members here, I don't know if these are going to work, but these will be all the, uh, the various people we pick up. Uh, she repairs ship's armor for 0.02 of maximum armor every second. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to, well, let's see, where is the new stuff that we got? Okay, so that was 194 versus... 208, but it's a pulse, which sucks. And then the Michael Grantling 221 and 118. So, one of the um, requested features that people wanted was being able to switch their gear and their ship around anywhere at any time, and he put it in the game. I'm going to show you how to do it. So here we have to right click and that un equips it, right? So you want to keep track of it, but we're going to put and we right click, boom, and now we just swapped it out. Do the same thing with the right light rail, put that pulse in there, and now everything has been changed. So the plan is we're going to zip on over to the Miners Guild, so give me a second. Once we get there, we're going to join the guild, and then I'm going to show you how to make really easy money. So hold on a sec. Alrighty, most miner stuff looks like this. We want to fly around the side here. Landing gear deployed. Oop. Oh, really? Man, I swear. You'd think I'd be better at this. 
But again, up to you whether you want to screw around putting stuff in your ship. I would wait. I'm just going to sell everything off. And by the time we get done with this, we'll have multi a few million credits. So a ship or whatever else we want to do will be in the cards. Yeah, I want to join the guild. This is all you have to do. You go up, say, I want to join the guild. You only need to sign a declaration of participation. Accept our turn. We provide you with a, a beam, which is good. Nimbers, a bit slow. You can mine with it. Yep. Boom. And we got it. To use it, you hit the tab button. Oh, how funny. It pulled the gun. Eh, you need to be in the right place to do that. You'll be able to know if you did it right, because it should be right there. To the attention of the members, please make sure you break the guild rules carefully before taking action. Now, there are upgrades that you can get to mining, and if there is a big enough call for a thing on mining, I'll help you guys with it. You know, a lot of people like to mine. It's very soothing. I, on the hand, am all about... Getting her done quick. So, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to look for the asteroid field in this belt. And we're going to go right there. Landing gear retracted. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Okay, and when you're here, to make life easy, you can see how the sun is reflected, all right? Make sure you stay on the site, because that's what it's going to do. It's going to pop, but if you stay on the side where the sun is, you'll be able... Oh, I just saw one. Is that cool? Oh, it is. You want to find this one, all right? They're cool. There's a reason. Yeah, that's cold. You can see it down there. Oh, good. There's a spot on top. Okay. Well, we'll have to do it in the shade, but that's fine. So, find somewhere where you can set down. If you slide off, you won't be able to use your um, miner tool. Now we should have the right mining tool. And all we're going to do is you hold the uh, right button first. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a nice safe little area for us to stand in. Then, you wanna switch these so efficiency is at 99 and power is at zero. You then grab a rubber band. You hold the right key down after you got the rubber band on both. Hold the left key on and leave it. Now, a few things to keep in mind while this is happening. If you stop, turn off the game, and come back, even if you save, this asteroid will disappear. So, you know, when you get to this part, real easy. What I did and what I do is I just go eat dinner or lunch. And I just let my computer run. And then, when you get enough... You fly back now you can let this go it's gonna tell you oh it's too heavy for your ship it's too heavy for your ship your ship won't move your ship will run slower but if you run it for maybe an, ah 45 minutes to an hour you'll be fine so one sec i'm gonna do that and when we come back i will have everything sold good to go and i'll show you how much money i get i'm not gonna do it for more than 45 minutes to an hour so one sec all righty so I decided to come over here to the space market for no reason, but we're sitting on two and a half million now. Sold everything. The most important thing is over here, adventurer. You should have put those three points right here. Right? The first three points. And then you should have got a second three points and they should go right here 
every time you gain experience from other classes, it adds 10% of the gained experience to the adventurer. But let's see what I still had two in pine lance. And we already got 25% increase there and by shields. Yeah, we'll put that there. And of course, we're going for experience with the soldier. Because again, once we get those taken care of, we will be good to go. Now, if you want to upgrade your ship at this point, it is up to you. We're going to go do the new mission that is rescuing uh, Anka. He actually changed it. And I wanted to show you guys, we actually have to pay attention now. Before, it was really, really easy. This is actually really cool what he did. So hold on. Near Accent World, Ray was ready and we were meeting on the escape route of Russian system. All right. That just pumped up when I jumped. So when we come back, we will be in that system ready to go. And I'll show you guys what they're actually telling you where you're supposed to go because it's a little confusing. All right, folks. So we hit the correct system. Now it says go to the escape route. That is this right here, which is where we do for all our big meetups for fleets and stuff like that. Unless he might have changed it. I don't know. I want to have so much time in the day for me to jump ahead. I still have to do everything I'm doing with you guys for my saves. So I was twice the time for farming. We. Okay, and it pops up. Warp to whatever prison there, which will be a pink boy. Exonia, Edia, Rizal. Calibration module activated. Cal Destroy the security ships around the prison. Shield recharging. Weapons online. God, pick one, anyone, Jesus. You will work. Oh, I didn't put freaking rockets in. That sucks. We in hey, we actually connected to him. How long this takes to go here? Weapons so we go back to our first weapon. Target shields down. Shield oh, that's gonna hit. Oh, it did. Oh, there it is. Okay, we almost got him. And after a certain amount of time, it's going to tell you to go to the station anyway. So it's not like it's that important. Target destroyed. Shield recharging. Target shields down. Overheat. More we kill the better though. Experience is experience. Shield recharge target destroyed. Hmm. I don't know how many of these we gotta kill. Oh, there we go. Don't waste time and enter the prison for the anchor. We can't completely land here. Let's see, whoop. This first time I tried this, I couldn't land, so we might have to hover. We'll see. Landing gear see. deployed. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Just eject. Landing gear retracted. Always make you sure you got your weapons ready. What? There we go. So yeah, this is completely different than what was here before. This is much better. 
We need to find where is the Ange in the prison. Why'd you stop shooting at me? I was dumb. Yeah, we'll take all that. Anybody in here? Ooh. Login successful. Okay. Caught me reloading. Oh, and I can't get him there. Can I get him? No, I can't. Sit down, son. Oh, shit. That's kind of working. Headshots seem to be the only real guarantee here. Let me in! Nope, can't use those anyways. Everybody looks like it. Oh, here we go. Hey, there's our boy. Good. And here you have to escape from the back gate. All of the guards are at the main center right now. Thank you guys for saving me. We gotta wait a sec here. Plant. I think I did it. There we go. Now you should open some of the cells at that floor to save extra time for Anka's escape. Uh-oh. Okay. That sounded bad. Great. Now get back here. Finally. Let's get away from here. Take us somewhere safe. Where's that? Oh, let's go to the Stargate. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Hello, Enka, and welcome aboard. Who the hell are you? I'm Drain. At least my mind is. I hope. I feel like I'm not alone here. Anyway, it is good to see you. Drain, you look hot. 
And your sound is kind of weird. Are you okay? Please I'm good anchor. The jump point to start. Jump Thanks process. for asking. I haven't adapted to this body yet. And this is Commander's Child. Commander's Child? I was not expecting this. Drain and you. Looks like my retirement days are over. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. I doubt this. If you got some of your father's genes. You're like a bomb ready to explode. Which means what? Okay. We'll go where it said to go. Give me a sec. Destination reached. Oh, that's right. Help the pilots. All pilots in the system. Our civilian city is under attack. Please help. Isn't that your city? Calibration module. We need to help them. Calibration Drain is right. Waiting for the Let's thruster. join their battle. Come here. They are still All right. us. Ships of your town. Weapons online. They don't have any chance against those military pilots. Really, I don't think we do either. Not until the game's a little nicer. Weapons overheat. Really? Oh, that's fine. We did get. Destroyed. More points. Overheat. I think. Target shields are down. Weapons overheat. Shield recharging. Weapons. It's not overheat. gonna work. We need to flee. Nope, it's not. No, you need to be organized. All pilots warp away and regroup. Target destroyed. Okay. Come on. Yes. All pilots warp away to safe spot and regroup. Okay. Calibration module activated. <sighs> Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. If we don't stay as one, we don't have any chance. From now on, follow his command. To give orders to your squad, you must first choose the team you will order. Now press F1 to select Alpha Squad, Alpha then press squad. F1 again to give a formation order to that. All formation. formations have bonuses, and you will receive bonuses as a team. However, the maneuverability of your squad is as much as the maneuverability of the weakest pilot in the team. Now select Alpha Squad again with F1, then press F3 to break formation. Now we are going in. Follow him. See, I like going in Alpha information. Squad. But Let's see if we can do this correctly. Because we got a, well, a couple more missions to do before they we start getting mail and going and grabbing our fleets. So we're getting there. formation geez where why are they so spread out okay here we go and attack formation didn't work target shields down shield recharging Target 
destroyed. All right. That was one. It doesn't make you kill all of them, just a few. Target shields down. Weapons overheat. Target destroyed. I know, I get sick of hitting the missile lock key. I know my ship can take it. Target shields down. Weapons overheat. Target destroyed. Oh, that one's way far We did out. it. Whoa. I can't believe that. We actually did it. By the way, kid. You have great potential. Don't waste it. I right. told you. So we're gonna go to anyway, the planet right here. Let's not hang around any longer. Take us to your house. It will be better to hide there for a while and plan. All right, this is gonna be a little bit longer of a video, but it's at the end of this. Calibration module activated. Our next video, we're gonna start with a new ship. Completed. So waiting for the thruster input. We'll take care of this real quick, and then in the next video. We'll move on to a new ship. Pew. Quick jump. Oh, yeah. And before I forget, so pilots. Put that right there. Increase armor and shields by a 50. And then soldier. Almost, almost. All right. Warp drive online. So where? Ah, there we go. The surface align process is completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Followed. Don't get close to city or they can locate us. Lure them outside our border. Leave your ship at the spot I marked for you. I think they put a tracking device on the ship. Landing gear deployed. Oh God! Now come here on foot. We have things to talk. We just got to run over here. That'll finish things off quick enough. You got to kind of get close for the the thing to happen that's supposed to happen here. That was a pop in one. And we're back. And we'll stop right there. So there we go, folks. Um, currently, it says we don't have a ship. That's because our ship is waiting in a hangar right over here. We're going to get double the firepower, complete beast. And I'm going to show you in the next episode, besides getting the new ship, what to do with your old ship and all the stuff that's on it. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Tune in for the next video. And 
Keep your heads down, your warriors of doom. Up and all. See you again. Hurry out, Amson.